Om Shanti, we are here with the 14th of June's Godly Blessing where Supreme Father wants us to remember that we are instruments who are serving humanity with His guidance. And if we think that we are doing it ourselves, then the ego shall shatter our dreams of moving ahead in life. So let's see what does God have to say over here. Baba says, may you do service as an instrument with the awareness of one father and none other and you will become free from attachment. So when we are attached to a service, we don't move ahead in life. We get blocked, we get limited, we get into different kinds of issues, problems and we don't even allow others to move ahead in life just because we are stuck in that place. Nobody else can replace us. So that's why God says that think of yourself as an instrument and wherever God wants you to be or serving, be in that place. Don't get stuck to a person whom you are serving or a place you are serving. So let's see what does he have to say. God says the mind and intellect of the children who maintain the awareness of belonging to the one father and none other easily become concentrated. So you don't have so many thoughts. You just belong to the one father and you're doing godly service so your number of thoughts are less. You're not doing service for a person specifically. You're doing godly service and everybody is a child of God and you're doing a service for them with the help of God Father, with his direction. They do service as instruments and so they do not have any attachment to it. So an instrument just like a guitar doesn't have feelings, right? So you be an instrument, I be an instrument and we are serving by not having an attachment to it. So a guitar can be played by his owner, can be given to a friend and the friend can play the same guitar. The guitar doesn't say, no, I belong to the owner and only the owner can play. Here too, God says, don't have attachment to your service or the person whom you are serving. The sign of attachment is that your intellect goes to whatever you have attachment to and your mind would run there too. So if we have an attachment to a person whom we are serving, let's say a counselor has an attachment to a person and that person, if that person doesn't show up, the counselor becomes wary, becomes disturbed. So then he is not a counselor in true sense. But if the counselor is not attached to that being, not attached to that person, whatsoever may be the condition, then that counselor can literally help that person and show that person the right direction without getting any negative emotions. Therefore, hand over all your responsibilities to the father. Don't think that I have to do it. I am the one who can do the best. I am the only one who can actually help that person out. No, don't think like that because that's an attachment to even serving others. Therefore, hand over all your responsibilities to the father and look after everything as a trustee. Even every service which has been given, you have to be a, like a trustee. I have to be like a trustee. And an instrument and you will become free from attachment and the heaviness of serving others will not be there. Otherwise, any negative thought, I can do the best. I am the only one who can understand that person. Only I am the one who can be understood or I am the one who knows it better is an attachment. And God says then you are going to become heavier by doing that service. And get tired so a trustee doesn't get tired because a trustee doesn't think that that thing belongs to me or that place belongs to me or that organization belongs to me so a trustee is lighter without any emotional attachments similarly in serving others in any way in this world we have to be lighter and not attached attached oh only the creator and nobody else and that is what we learn in Brahma Kumari is how to be attached to the creator how to remove the ego of the eye and serve humanity in purity if you want to learn the same, please do join the 7 day course at Brahma Kumaris. Start with the first day at least and then move ahead in life for this Om Shanti.